I'm gonna show you how to change out the speedometer for a 2004 to a 2008 Acura TL. So the first thing you want to do, you want to make sure the car is not running and the key is out of ignition. And then on this edges right here, you want to put your fingers right there and then you want to put your thumb right here for leverage and the same thing on the left side. So my fingers is slightly behind here, my thumb right here, and then we're gonna pull it forward. Should come loose like that. And then the left side, the same thing. Thumb right here for leverage, pull it forward. And then it's loose. And then if you look behind, you have two plugs you have to disconnect. So you got one right there on the left side you got one right there on the right side. So as you can see in the video, I already unplug it. Like I say, it's hard to do holding the camera and doing it with your left hand. But you want to squeeze this and then hold this down with your other hand and then pull it up. Same thing on the right side. So now we got the cover out of the way and then you have... A few screws. So you have one forehead, and then you have two, which is right about there. So I removed the two screws out, one from each side, and then you have two more on the very top, right there, one on the left, and then one. On the right. so we already removed the top two screws, so uh, refresher, we have a total of four screws. So you have one on the bottom left, one on the bottom right, one on the top left, one on the top right. Now, keep this focus. Now we can remove the speedometer. So it move forward like that. And then, like I say, we have plugs in the back you have to disconnect. So you got one right there, and then you have one right there. I unplug um, both plugs, and it was actually harder to do. Imagine doing it with one hand. So once we got that out, let's move the speedometer, and voila. And these are the plugs that I'm, we have to disconnect. One right here. Then one right here. And this is how this space looks like without the speedometer. And of course, you know, I'm not going to show you in the video. It's self-explanatory the way you take everything out. You put everything back in the same way. Same process. And I would not mix up the screws. So the two screws for the top, I left it up here because I do not want to mix it up with the two screws in the bottom. It may be the same, but... It may go may go in the hole differently. But yet yeah, I'm gonna put everything back and I'll see you. Speedometer back in and when you put everything back in, make sure this plug is tucked right under. You don't want to get a cart behind the speedometer and then you're gonna have to you know take everything back out. So make sure this is in the bottom and this is in the bottom so that you can push the speedometer back in. And what I like to do is Put the screws on the top first. You know, once this is lined up, you know the bottom is going to be lined okay, up. Okay, once we have everything in, we're going to make sure that the speedometer works before we go ahead and screw everything tight. So we got the key in the ignition. We're going to turn it one click. Turn it another click. Okay, it powers on. That's good. Take the key out and let's put the screws okay, back So in. we have the top screws back in. Now we're going to go ahead and put on the bottom, put in the bottom screws. Now that we got the two screws back in the bottom, we're going to go ahead and place the cover back on. But before we do that, we have to plug in the two green plugs that's just behind. So it. I got the two plugs connected. Now we're going to stick the key in the ignition. We're going to make sure that these switches, I mean buttons work before we push everything back in. Turn that on. Now we're going to touch this. Yep, that works. So 
So now we're gonna tap on the max. That actually works. And of course, because it's unplugged, you have to reset everything. So I like to put the brightness low. So when you're driving at night, it's already low. Then you wanna drive in the daytime, you hit the max. So everything works. So now we're gonna push, push this back in. And push the right side back in. You hear that snap, that means everything is snapped in place. Everything works. Now let's turn on the light to make sure this illuminate. See that illuminate and that illuminate. So this is how you change out the speedometer for 2004 to a 2008 accurate TL. And thanks for watching.